Hey y'all, it's Jordan Monin with J Money Disc Golf. Today I am playing Updike Disc Golf Course in Montpelier, Ohio. I have never seen this course before. I'm going to be playing it blind and from just the drive in, it's a beautiful, beautiful course. It is the second highest rated course in Northwestern Ohio with a 4.5 rating. And I'm just excited to see what this has to offer. It looks like it's a mix of some open lines and a lot of wooded holes as well. Oh yeah, finish, finish. Oh, that was one tree branch away from being parked. So a very obstructed, probably 45 footer looking for birdie, but this is not an easy one. Oh, good run. So with a tap in par on hole one, we're on to hole two, which is a hard dog leg left at 221 feet. And it is gonna go all the way around the corner back into here. That should be money. Oh, I just hit a cage on that. Hit cage on the drive. Got a little bit of an unfortunate movement out to about 13 feet. Woo, a little high, but easy money, baby. Hole three, par three, 200 feet right up here. So just have to hit a narrow window with a putter shot and kind of drift a little bit right and up the hill to the basket. Stay right, stay right. Ah, Drifted a little bit out left. So I've got an obstructed about 14 footer for birdie. A little bit of a weird straddle out angle. Let's go. Hole four, par four, 403 feet. The basket is right up there. So you gotta thread the needle through the trees and get all the way up there. I'm looking for eagle on this one though. Let's go. Come on, baby, stay off that. Ooh, a little bit of an unfortunate kick, but good distance. So one thing I could not see from the tee is this creek which is about 60 feet short of the basket. And my gosh, that would be a very unfortunate place to be. So in retrospect, I'm kind of happy with the kick that I got and where it dropped me. I'm gonna go with the zone, try and flick it up there, give it a little soft bid. Too low for a run, but it's parked. So initial impressions on the course are really well designed, really well maintained. Um, the tee pads are great, the baskets are good. The only thing that I'm really seeing that I don't like so far about this course is how close the tee pad is to the basket. So once you finish a hole and go to the next tee pad, that's just a little too close. If you had an errant drive, especially like during a tournament round or just a busy day, you could put some people in danger doing that. But otherwise, loving this course so far. Hole five, 304 feet, par three. The creek is OB and the basket sits right about here. So you gotta hug that creek line and keep it out of the woods so while swinging it around. That looks good. Come on, baby. Skip it in there. Oh yeah, just a little bit short. So another, oh, this is about 12 foot for birdie. We're on a roll, baby. Hole six, par three, 209 feet. The basket is right up in here. Um, you could either go on this wide gap right here, or you could like shoot straight through that little gap. I think I'm gonna swing a zone a little bit wide. Get in the bucket, get in the bucket. Oh, a little high. Ah, did you see that kick? So after I thought it was gonna go in, it was short. Then it hit the tree right here and kicked back across. I thought it was gonna go in again, but it was still short. So I got about an 18 footer for birdie. Boom, boom. All right, hole seven, par three, 195 feet. Another kind of touchy one. You gotta go around and keep going around. 
and keep going around and the basket is right here. A little too low, stay up. Oh, so I got the right shape on that, but kept it a little too low and then hit a tree and now I'm at 34 feet for the first circle two look of the day. Get it. Oh, didn't commit to that, didn't extend, and then also brought my hand up too high. So that's an annoying par to take on what's probably one of the shortest holes on the course, but that's okay. Hole eight, par four, 361 feet. Look at that funky shape. There's a mandatory right here, pushing us over to the right. And then it's a continuous turn around this corner and then it straightens back out to finish the hole. Really weird shape, but I kind of like the design. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I got around the corner really well, got about, 105 feet left to go. A little forehand zone. That was a really early release. Didn't commit to my shot. Everything about that was poor form, poor follow through. I'm in circle one, but I'm not happy about that shot. So on hole eight, my camera and my mic actually kicked out for a minute and I ended up missing a 21 footer for my birdie and then made my tap in for my par. That was my first circle one miss of the round so far, which is really annoying, but it happens. So now we're on to hole nine. Hole nine is a par three, 191 feet, pretty much a straight shot. The basket is right here. You just have to make sure that you clear the creek. And some of those trees are really close to the edge of the creek, so you could kick backward into the creek, and the creek is all OB. Look over left. Oh, that should be parked. So I've got a little eight footer left for birdie. Nothing to stress about there. Let's go. So I'm through nine holes out here at Updike Park, and my phone's about to die. So I'm going to shut it off. And shut off the filming and go ahead and just play the rest of the course and then I will be back with my final review after I finish 18. I gotta say through the first nine I was impressed by the design um, but a little bit disappointed in the, the length and the layouts and stuff like that. I think it's a well-designed course. I think that they've done a good job designing and maintaining it but I'm just not super impressed with how short most of these holes are. So hopefully it opens up on the back nine. We'll find out. So I just finished up my round at Updike Park and I shot a neg, neg 10 on course par, which is a 50. And I got to say for it being the second highest rated course in South, Northwestern Ohio, I was a little disappointed. I thought that the overall design was a little too short and a little too easy. I thought there were some great design with some of the shorter par fours. Um, just the use of space and use of angles on those was fantastic. But in general, I just, I don't think it's worthy of the second highest rated course in Northwestern Ohio. It was a lot of fun to play. I would definitely come back to play it again. But when I think of good high level courses that I've played that deserve a 4.5 rating, this really wasn't it. So overall, my personal rating is about a 3.8 um, because it was about five star enjoyability, four star design and or four star maintenance and upkeep and like a three star of the actual course design um, and like a 3.5 on the overall use of the space and the workability of the course. Had some really cool features, some really fun shots. The baskets were great, tee pads were really nice, though a little bit narrow. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm gonna say 3.8 and definitely would play again, but it's not going to be my regular make a trip to go to this course type of course.